I started investing in tech startups and investing in general. And investing in technology was really what was interesting to me and what I was passionate about. And specifically technology in the Middle East, uh, I saw a way as helping grow the economy here and give back to the region in a sustainable way. I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I knew I wanted to do something, but I never expected it to be in the investment and the finance space. Not only that, I never really expected to find my voice and the confidence in myself business-wise that I now have. The way that kind of confidence in myself grew really stemmed from having to go through a lot of struggle and having to go through a lot of self-doubt and then one day saying, you know what, actually, I'm going to trust what I see and I'm going to trust my opinion and I'm going to speak up about it now because it's enough. And then once you do that the first time, you actually realize, hold on a minute, that's amazing, that was easy. And now things are going better and then doors start opening and you just start seeing that path unfolding in front of you. One of the biggest things I've also learned in this journey is that I, as the entrepreneur, am the driving force behind the business. And if I'm not waking up energized every day, then something is wrong. So I make sure to create a, a lifestyle and a business strategy and a day-to-day -day that I'm excited to take part in. And the energy just kind of comes naturally when I started working in the investment space and I saw the lack of female representation there. And not the lack of interest, but the lack of just exposure. It's 50% of the world population that is educated, that has the exact same capacities, that are able to contribute to economic growth and scientific research and technological advances and innovation. And they're just, they're just left out. And it's one of the easiest problems I think we can solve and one of the biggest problems we can solve in my lifetime. And all it takes is a little bit of awareness and a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of, you know, uh, education. We've been working a lot with educating young Emirati women in universities. I see myself in them when I was in university and I'm able to show them a photo of me and my co-founder when we were 19 years old in university and then four years later on the cover of Wealth Arabia. And that really, you know, switches something in their heads because they think that there's a certain path for them or they think that there are certain limits to what they can achieve and all of a sudden that idea is completely spun around and the reality is standing right in front of them, relatable and honest and that is something that I look forward to every day. Every day I get to do it is something that gets me out of bed. I'm so happy to, to interact with these women and be able to share that. I wish I had that.